Um, so we run Bushcraft Adventures, uh, we're based in Bridgend and we run outdoor activities. Um, we do archery, bushcraft and axe throwing, so lots of different things to interest different groups. So when we're looking to, to work with people, we're looking for a range of, of skills as well to interact with our customers. So from people skills and really good communication skills so that our customers have a really good experience on the day of their event. Things like um, problem solving skills so that on the day of an event it's, it's likely that things don't go exactly to plan so someone can keep calm under pressure and, and work out kind of what to do next and being creative as well. Some of our new ideas and new formats have come from other people telling us and giving us ideas and we run with them. So it's about being creative, using your ideas to try something different and help us to expand our business, but also about having that autonomy. We're looking for people who want to use their ideas and run with things and giving them the opportunity and the freedom to, to, to try out something different in their role. We are looking for more than qualifications, although they are important and so an experience. It is also about the soft skills too, being reliable, punctual, presentable, all those kind of additional things that make you that rounded candidate that actually, as again on paper, when you're applying for jobs and you've got the same qualification as the next person, they're the things that help you to stand out and what I'd be looking for and how you get that experience doesn't matter whether that's through, it doesn't have to be through a job, you could be gaining those skills through volunteering or through a hobby that you're working alongside other people. So how you develop those skills doesn't matter, is that you have them. What we saw with the business was an opportunity to bring together all of our skills and experience and apply them in a different way. So from things that we've learned through coaching, leadership, planning an organisation, I've developed my admin skills, I'm bringing them all together in a, in a different context. On a typical day to organise an event, I've got to bring together lots of different things. So it requires really good planning and timekeeping particularly. So I need to make sure I've got everything packed, ready to go for an event. So I've got all of the consent forms, I've done all of my admin. But when I come into my lovely office here, that I've made sure I've brought everything I need, that I've communicated well with people so they know where to come and find us, to on the day keeping things moving into time so that we cover all the different activities that people want and also they're having a good experience. So it's about that kind of the um, communication, but that, the coaching side of things, but that personal kind of approach as well. That, that's, that's why people remember our events. So my name is Abby Reader, and I'm a dairy farmer here in the Vale of Glamorgan. Behind me are some of the cows that I work with. I'm actually um, a third generation farmer, so I was very lucky to be born into a farm. But that didn't necessarily mean that I had an automatic right to farm. I went away to agricultural college where I did five years and I came out with two degrees. When I came home, I started at the bottom level as a skivvy and I had to work my way up to, to become a manager, um, which I am now today, 15 years on after qualifying. First of all, I need someone who's happy. So, you know, seeing people who land on the farm every day and give you a smile and say good morning means a lot. It sounds really silly, but it's extremely important. I do not want someone who's grumpy and who's always looking down at the floor uh, and not interested in what I've got to say. They need to be able to take basic instruction. And again, that might sound really obvious, but if I say to someone, could you go down the road, turn into the first gateway on the right and walk over to the opposite corner and shut that gate, I don't want to be yelling down the road, your other right, your other, you know, it, basic instructions are so important. I don't have enough time to chase around after people to check that they've been able to do the job properly. Again, on a farm, it's quite manual work. It requires you to think about your day, to be able to, to plan ahead a task that I might set, to be organized about what you're going to be doing. So if I set a basic task of, of to go out and repair some fencing, you need to be able to sort of set yourself up so that when you go out the field to do that job, you're not thinking, oh gosh, I've left half my tools behind, I'm going to have to go back. I need that job done quickly and efficiently. On top of that then, I need people that are going to be able to improvise. You need to be able to think for yourself because sometimes things can go wrong. You can often find that you're working alone on a job. So to be able to solve problems and to really just proactively think about how you're going to deal with a situation is really important. I don't want to have to be running after someone to check that they've been able to do the job right. I want to know with confidence that you've done the best that you can with the knowledge that you've got and you know we can, we can build up from there. Personal effectiveness is really important because that's all about your time management and time is absolutely key. There's only so many hours in the day and there can be a lot to pack in. I'm not interested in somebody who arrives to work late and, and that's even 10 minutes late unless you have the courtesy to phone up and explain why. Uh, I need somebody who arrives on time. We are working with livestock. They don't wait for anybody. 
Uh, we're working with the weather, that doesn't wait for anybody either. It's all about trying to sort your time management out and equally your communication skills. They're so, so important. If you are working with a machine and something doesn't work, you know, you need to be able to communicate across to whoever, myself or, or someone else in the yard, this is broken, this doesn't work, this doesn't happen. So that when the next person goes to jump on that machine, they know that it's ready and it's, it, it's gonna go. You know, they're not held up by, oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot to say sorry. Uh, and equally, if you make a mistake, everybody makes mistakes, we're all human. You need to be able to tell people. Communication is really, really important for that. It's, it's all about making sure you've got the basics first. We can build on the rest of it. We can train up all sorts of skills on this farm, but I need the basics, which is someone who is polite, timely, well-organized, proactive, and very good at communication and, and time skills. And that's what I'm looking for. I deal with lots of people on the farm, I actually deal with a lot of cows, but we buy a lot of stuff, we get a lot of deliveries, we sell a lot of stuff. We have people who come in who are technicians, who look after our parlours, look after our machinery, look after the vets. Communication right the way through is really, really important. It's all that organisation and planning, it's, it's all the basics, it's, it's the uh, personal effectiveness, it's, it's all those things you need to be able to put together, they can apply across any job. They're all the basics that anybody will look for in any single job that you will go for. My name is Samuel Withers. I uh, come from a management trainee background with Wilmot Dixon. Um, prior to obviously being on the management trainee course, I was um, a carpenter apprentice um, doing an MBQ and, and coming through a car carpentry background. When I was in New Zealand, I was uh, an agricultural stockbroker and come from a background where a lot of math and planning and thinking was involved. Uh, and then just core value and skills were transferred then over to the construction industry where these things build, build up your portfolio and kind of help you progress in any career really. Not only is it, have you got to be creative and innovative in your thinking and, and the way you go about it, but if you lose program, which is duration periods, etc., cetera, on a, on a project, without coming up with these problem solving ideas and having people skills to talk to people and communicate with people, the, the project could end up being in jeopardy and could end up going um, perhaps wayward and, and, and going completely off programme or off track. Them core skills you pick up in school, college, university, wherever that may be, they are super important to, to the bigger picture. So the soft skills of generally punctuality, um, people management and communication and talking to people, um, time management as well, all, all the core skills that come under personal effectiveness. Really speaking, whatever job you take up in construction, these are these are critical and these need to be developed really year on year. And, and like I say, I'm 24 years of age now and I didn't realize back when how, how important they were. Uh, and like I say, and now I see it on a daily basis of how these need to be put into action. Reese on the excavator year, um, even though every single operative that uses a piece of machinery like the excavator you can see behind me. It's really important that additionally with the qualifications you need is that you have core skills as in your safety conscious, um, you, you're constantly assessing the, the environment around you, you've got innovative skills on how to um, maybe dig an area that requires uh, drainage but instead of doing it the traditional route you come up with innovative and creative tasks to alternatively um, install a bit of that kit. Also as well, communication with parties around you, whether that be other trades, guys working around the machinery, it, it is a fundamental skill that you need to operate this type of equipment. These skills bolster that qualification to, to make you an all round better, uh, better operative and, and skilled worker really and a tradesman uh, on, on a construction site. Hello, my name is Rhiannon Falchowskelly and I am the co-director of Cinemurse Film and Video with Connor Hamilton Thomas. Cinemurse is a full service production company um, that basically means that we create anything from business promotional videos, product launches, music videos, short films, pretty much anything you can think of. 
So in terms of our industry, it's incredibly important to have as broad a skill set as possible, um, but also not in terms of just our industry alone. The wider the skill set you have, the more opportunities you have, and essentially a lot of skills such as communication skills, organizational skills, problem solving skills, across all kinds of boundaries and all kinds of industries. So it really gives you as much choice going forward as possible. Well, what kind of skills do we look for? Well, from within this industry, it's not easy. You have to tick a lot of boxes. Um, from things like pitching to a client or writing a proposal, you're gonna need excellent communication and people skills, um, to, to scheduling things in pre-production, such as casting, locations, costume and art departments. You're gonna need to be highly organized and also have uh, fantastic problem solving skills because nothing ever goes perfectly within filmmaking. There's always something that falls through at the last minute and you're going to need to be able to create solutions in a timely manner and be able to keep calm in that situation. One of the biggest skills I'd say that's important for a filmmaker is definitely creativity. It's essential in delivering a story that you can think outside of the box and approach any given project with passion. The other essential skill involved with filmmaking is teamwork. Not one individual makes a film. Uh, you've got everybody from cast and crew, you've got uh, makeup artists and hairstylists and directors and DOPs, uh, actors. You all need to be able to work together to create something truly wonderful. By no means are these skills specific to this one industry. Most industries, most jobs, most careers are going to need things like communication skills and creativity and problem solving skills. There's not one job out there that won't require these things. It's so important to give yourself as broad a skill set as possible to really home in on different skill sets and improve the ones that you might feel that you, you're not so good at because I promise you it's essential going forward in a career path. It will be the one thing that makes you stand out against everybody else in the world of work and essentially make you more employable.